Taurus. I've kept you waiting for so long. I'm so sorry. Even knowing how impatient we are, but that's just how things turned out. So my apologies. All right, let's get started. We're going to do love here. This is the Urban Tarot. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen here in love. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, perhaps, in your life. Okay, let's see. We have the Six of Cups, which is pleasure in this deck. The Challenge, woo, Ten of Swords. And the Foundation is the Five of Pentacles, which is called Worry. In the past, the Two of Pentacles, Change. What's crowning? Wow, the Ace of Cups. Near future, the Nine of Wands, which is called Fortitude. How you see yourself is the Nine of Pentacles. Your, how your partner sees you or your external energy is the Seven of Pentacles, which is called Failure. Hopes or fears, the Eight of Cups, which is called Indolence. And your overall outcome, the Four of Cups, Luxury. Okay, Taurus. <clears throat> this is about somebody from your past that you have a very special connection with, um, especially sexual. Um, I feel like you're in love with this person. And even though they hurt you, they hurt you. I feel like you're not in touch with them, okay? Because we have the Five of Pentacles here, so that's being left out in the cold. So you may have been cut off from their life or they were cut off from your life. Um, and I feel like it was you because the pain, it's like that's the challenge for you. You love this person and I feel like they're very much, like you're very nostalgic about them, about how they made you feel, um, about things that you lived, you know, with them, the moments that you had, um, the sex. There's, but there's a lot of emotion. There's even, you know, Six of Cups can be soulmate energy as well. But with this Five of Pentacles here, you guys are not in touch. You just have a lot of emotion for this person. Um, and I feel like, you know, this person knows that they hurt you. And, and they're kind of seeing this relationship maybe as like a lost cause, you know, because of everything that's happened between the two of you. So let's start clarifying. Let's see the Six of Cups. Yeah, the tower reverse. So there was a tower moment between the two of you. <clears throat> this happened already. Okay, so this is not something that's going to happen in the month of September. Th this is the situation that you're dealing with somehow, but this tower moment was from the past. Um, it was like a breakup, or, or but it was, like, you know, sudden. It came out of the blue. You were not expecting this. So this person may have actually ghosted you because it was like um, like a surprise, like you couldn't believe it. Page of Wands reverse. There was a lot of attraction, but I feel like nothing. Like the relationship never progressed. It, it just stayed at a very early level. Yeah, see? Ace of Cups reverse. So it was always just like a potential, um, the attraction, the, the, but there was a lot of attraction. A very, you know, magnetic pull to this person. So let's see what happened with the Ten of Swords. Why is that the challenge? Death reverse. Yeah, it's, you haven't been able to get over this person. It's over between the two of you. Like you, like I said, I feel like you're not in contact with them be, because of this Five of Pentacles here. 
but you have not been able to get over them because the death card is in the reverse. So this is something, obviously, that you're still thinking about. We can see that very clearly. The Seven of Swords. But still, even though you have a lot of love for this person, you haven't been able to get over it. Um, you know, in some cases, for some of you, you can't get over the person. For others of you, it's what they did that you can't get over. Um, there was betrayal, definitely. You felt completely betrayed by this person. Yeah, see, five of swords reverse. So you felt betrayed, defeated. Um, like they, a lot of mind games, manipulation. Um, yeah, it's like you, you felt like you had to just walk away empty handed and you had no choice. So the five of pentacles in the foundation. <clears throat> The Page of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, this is your energy. I feel like you have something to say to this person. Um, pages are about communication, and I'm feeling the Five of Pentacles as, you know, being left out in the cold. So I feel like there's, like, like you have your two cents to add. That's what I'm seeing this as. Like, I, I, have, I have something to add to this, this situation. I have something to say about it. But, but because of what they did, it's like you're not going to reach out because, you know, it would look like you're still chasing after them or whatever. And, and it's, it's more like um, I feel like some of you want to give this person a piece of your mind. <clears throat> For others of you, honestly, I feel like you still see the potential in them. You still see the value in them. The Emperor Reverse. Mm. I feel um, the dynamic between the two of you. Now, obviously, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. But I do feel like. Sorry, let me just move that a little bit. The dynamic between the two of you is a little bit um, off. Like you almost feel intimidated by them. And I feel it's because this person is like a master manipulator, you know, with this five of swords and the seven of swords here. And so it's like you don't you don't know if you were to speak to them again, even though there, there's something like you got to get something off your chest. You want to say something. But you, you just feel like in their presence you're gonna cave again or you're, you're just gonna be weak or you, you feel intimidated somehow or at least they did at a certain point in time <clears throat> but you're afraid that it will reoccur that's for some of you for others mm, two of cups reverse I, you know I, I just I really still get that there is this sense here that you, I don't know if you want closure, but there's a feeling of like being helpless. Like you, you didn't like that feeling of like you didn't have a say in anything. You didn't know. You didn't, you know, there was just a, a feeling of being duped. Um, and that's hard. It's been hard for you, like completely helpless. There's nothing you could have done, nothing that this was all out of your control. And I feel like that's part of the, the not being able to get over it, you know. So in a lot of cases, it's really not the person themselves. It's like the whole situation that you felt powerless. And so it's, it, it's just a hard pill to swallow is what I'm getting. All right. So in the past, we have <clears throat> the Two of Pentacles, uh, which is called Change. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune, but it came out in the reverse. So again, the Wheel of Fortune is about change as well. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody had a choice to make, and that choice led to a lot of change. Um, I feel like this change was destined. It was karmic. Uh, it, it needed to happen. It had to happen. 
but it was very difficult for you to accept for quite a while. I feel for, you know, most of you this is like over a year. Could be two years. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's been it's been very slow um, after this relationship for you to you know pick yourself up and move on I, I feel like it's taken a long time um, but I do feel a, a sense of karmic ties uh, with this person which is it kind of explains why you're not able to get over them because it's it's such a powerful connection it is I do feel it is a soulmate so karmic type connection <clears throat> The full reverse. You, yeah, you you were just not ready for this surprise, this new beginning. You felt gullible. You felt um, foolish, basically. And so, yeah, it's taking you quite a while to be able to get on the other side of this. But I don't know that you truly have been able to get on the other side of this, though, because... You know, I was saying before that for, for some of you, it's just that you have something to say to this person, but I still can't ignore that we have this Ace of Cups here. So yeah, th there is a part of you that wants to give them a piece of your mind, but there is also, you still have feelings for them. I, I feel like there's really no de denying that. Well, let me clarify because maybe somebody else, but uh, I don't know. Let's see. The Knight of Wands reverse. Ace of Swords reverse. And the Hermit reverse. I feel feel like there was um, a big lesson that was learned here with this Hermit in the reverse. There's, there's definitely... I think what you got out of this was a renewed sense of self-love. Or maybe not even a renewed sense. Maybe you just learn to practice self-love um, and value yourself more. But aside from that, I, I still feel that you have a lot of emotion and feelings for this person. But you have no plans on communicating with them. It's like I, I learned my lesson and I'm going to move on. But those feelings are still there. And even if I... I'm getting that you recognize that those feelings are still there but I feel in most cases if you were to see this person again or talk to them you know you may give them that piece of your mind those two cents that you just want to put on the table um, but I do feel like you would resist um, the emotion that you have like you would you wouldn't be as open I feel um, especially with this Nine of Wands here in the near future. So let's take a look at that. Another Ace. Ace of Wands reverse. Temperance. And the Queen of Swords. of swords reverse I feel like this person is going to come back or at least at the very least I feel like there there may be there's going to be communication because this is you know the couple the 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 connection this is you and this other person um, and the male is not happy okay he's in the reverse and not that the gender matters but you know I'm just pointing out there's what the male is unhappy the female is kind of just speaking her mind speaking the truth so the gender does not matter it's just one of you is not going to be happy okay and I feel it's going to be them because there, somebody wants a reunion. Or, 
they want to get back together. They want to at least bring peace to the connection, you know. But but there's it's the, the new beginning is just not going to happen because you're too guarded. You 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 can't forget what this person did to you and how they made you feel. And um, yeah, you're just going to be cold. You're not going to extend that that emotion that you are feeling for them you're just not going to let them know i feel like because you probably did in the past and got nothing in return and so you're not going to repeat that again is what i'm getting so how you see yourself is the nine of pentacles this is the card about you know seeing yourself as being independent um having everything that you need so it's almost like i don't need that person anymore <clears throat> I'm complete within myself. And again, that, that may be what that Ace of Cups is about as well, is um, self-love, you know, through these hard times that you um, have been through and uh, feeling, you know, betrayed and stuff. They, they, it's made you stronger. Nine of Swords. You're stronger, but you still think about this person. Queen of Wands reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. I feel that you're letting go of it. Um, there was a long time, like I said, it's been a slow journey uh, for you to get out of this situation, emotionally, I mean, and I, I feel like you're almost there, or if, or you, maybe you are already there, in many cases, you know, a lot of you are, are just over it, but there's, there's like a resurgence of this, and I feel like it's because this person is coming back, um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling, uh, but I, I, I'm getting here that because you have two nines here and these queens i feel like this is more so your energy you just letting go of of, of the, all the path you have so much passion for this person and emotion and I, I feel you still do but you're not receptive anymore okay so the queen of cups still has emotions when she's in the reverse but sometimes it's like the shadow side um, and sometimes it's just not being receptive before you were receptive to those emotions and that love and, and you were willing to give it as well as you know the passion um, but this put you through the ringer you know you you had so much stress and anxiety about it and you were even like obsessing about it um, but it's almost over because the, you know we do have the two nines and again I feel you know with that nine of pentacles you are there is more of a sense of like just having more peace within yourself and just being happy, being able to make yourself happy and not being dependent on this other person for your happiness. Now, the energy around you is the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> Damn it. Sorry, I had to get a drink. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. So we have the Hierophant clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. <coughs> <clears throat> I feel like, um, oh my Lord. Let me take another drink. <laughs> okay. I feel that um, if this is how they're seeing you, they're seeing you as somebody who's really evolved. You know, you've grown. <clears throat> you've grown either spiritually or, or just um, I feel like they respect you more now for, for some reason. Maybe because you've taken a stand, you're, you're more... 
they see that you value yourself more, perhaps, because there's a, there's a sense of having respect there. This is your card, the Hierophant. It represents Taurus, but you know would represent, especially in the upright, it represents Taurus in, in um, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess like the, the best version of you, okay? Um, so again, knowing the history between the two of you, I do feel that they're very aware that it's going to be hard to approach you. Like they can't um, fool you the way that they did before. Also, I feel like there's an element of time here. So maybe too much time has passed to where they know that you've matured at this point. And um, <laughs> because so much time has passed, you, you have sort of a, a bigger picture of the whole situation with them and what they're about. Also, um, for some of you, it's possible that that maybe you're married or there's or they're married. There, there's like there could be a relationship involvement here, and and they see this connection with you as it being or you know not being able to lead to anything but failure because there's already a commitment involved. So that's also possible for some of you. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. With the five of um, wands here this is about competition so they feel like there's too much competition maybe there's uh, yeah I, I i feel like you're already committed maybe they found out that you already are with someone and um seven of pentacles again but in the reverse yeah they know they they messed up because they didn't put in the time, the effort that they should have if they really wanted to have a connection with you. So your hopes or fears is the set, sorry, the eight of cups. The magician. The three of wands. Okay. Oh, three cards wands come out. Uh, the page of cups, the knight of swords, and the moon reverse. I feel like you're done with this, Taurus. I feel, you know, with the Eight of Cups, it's like, yeah, you have, there's, you can't, there's no denying the emotion that's involved in this situation. Yes, there is emotion. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not, you have feelings for this person. Do I see you wanting to act on those feelings? No. I see you more focused on the future and what the future has to offer and what you can create to make your life better each day. Um, this situation has brought you a lot of clarity of mind. Um, also clarity with regards to the type of love that you do want to manifest now into your life because this person might have a lot of the qualities that, that you look for and they stir up a lot of emotion in you, but there's something about them that you cannot ignore and, and that is this, this um, deceptive tendency because it's more than deception. It feels very dirty, like somebody played you dirty somehow um, and, and, and it's somebody who feels the need to Almost, I don't know why I'm getting like a bullying type of energy, um, belittling or narcissistic or, you know, mind games, that, that kind of thing. And so you, you just can't ignore that. You know that that's not going to last too long in your life. So it's almost like why even bother, even though I do have a lot of feelings. So a lot of people, you know, they can have a hundred great qualities and then they have one shitty characteristic that ruins everything and I kind of feel that about this person so you're ready to let it go but it's like something again I'm getting like you you would like to be able to say your piece you know it's like you didn't get to you didn't get the opportunity to speak your mind and and I feel like that's what you want here so the overall ugh, overall outcome is the four of cups
Five of Pentacles reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse. And the Chariot. Yeah. Okay, so this Five of Pentacles in the future is now coming up in the reverse, which means that that being left out in the cold, something is changing. Um, and with the Four of Cups, I feel... I feel there's going to be an offer. You know, you're going to have another opportunity to drink from this cup because someone will be offering it to you. Except now the situation has changed. Now you don't see that cup as it being something that you want anymore. Um, and I do feel like there's competition. I feel that there's other people who are interested in you. And so you understand, it's like you see yourself from a different perspective. That's what this person did for you. Um, kind of um, put you in check as far as you know understanding your value and that whatever this person really represented in your life was not enough for you anyway and now you recognize that sure they have a lot of qualities that you like and and you do have emotion for them I, I feel like you do care about this person a lot but that doesn't mean that they belong in your life as a romantic partner and so I do feel like this person is going to come back offering you something that you no longer want. You're not interested in it. You're not buying what they're selling because you've already moved on. Okay. And through this, I feel that there is a sense that you got some victory out of it. Um, yeah. Because you got, you're, you're going to have the opportunity to say what you need to say and but i feel like it's in a very loving way this is not like you're gonna bash them or anything it's just i feel like you just need to say your piece and move on so good for you all right let's see the oracle card what it has to say i'm kind of curious i've had i think like five signs get the same card so it's been weird <laughs> i'm not gonna say which one it is all right Let's see, what is the message for Taurus for love and romance, September 2019, what is the message for Taurus, 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 two messages, never give up on something you really want, hmm. What is this? Okay, so this says, according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Huh. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. Wow. This is your soulmate, Taurus. I mean that I don't know how to make it any clearer this is like your other half and I feel like there's lessons to lear be learned here or there were lessons to be learned that's why you guys came together I feel like this person who manipulated you um, is going to find out that you never should give up on something you really want. And the same thing for you, except who this person is at this moment in time is not what you really want. And I feel like that's what you learned. You learned what you do want, the type of love that you do want. Because again, look, I, I, I don't know, I just feel like this person... There's something, uh, a duality about this person, and, and it's not that it's nothing that, like, it's something that they can definitely work through, but there's a lot of work that would need to be put into that situation. Okay, so 
All right, let's move on to your finance and career reading. Let me just shuffle these. So I started um, posting weekend reads on Instagram if you guys are interested. It's Eyes of the Stars Tarot, so check me out. I'm going to start um, posting those probably like on Saturday mornings I'll try. I'm not really a morning person, but we'll see how that works out. Morning to me is 11-ish. <laughs> All right, let's see. Taurus. Nine of Cups. Ooh. The Three of Wands reverse. Ace of Wands. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Cups. Oh, bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. So two aces. Um, I feel you guys are going to have, you guys, us guys, there's going to be some kind of surprise here. Um, <clears throat> you guys may have started either a business, a new business, some type of new venture. Maybe you started a new career, a new job. Whatever it is, it's something that really excites you. You're very driven about it, very uh, passionate about it. Um, the thing is, though, you haven't really been seeing any return on your investment yet. You haven't been reaping any kind of big rewards, and you're not really feeling all that abundant. However, something that you don't, you're not waiting for it, it's not something that you're anticipating to happen, is coming out of the blue like someone is bringing it to you literally look at this card bringing it to you on a silver platter it's going to be presented to you abundance and I see a lot of opportunities coming toward you in the future as well so let's clarify let's see this ace of wands okay we have the two of cups reverse Judgment. Five of Cups reverse. Um, I'm feeling a lot of you, I feel like a lot of you have stumbled upon what you are meant to be doing, like your, your life purpose or, uh, you know, Maybe you've been doing one thing all your life and then, I don't know, like like you've been a dentist all your life and then all of a sudden you realize that you want to be a painter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like It's like something that you're so passionate about that it, you, you just, it's so clear to you all of a sudden. You have like this, this revelation, this, this newfound passion for something. Um, Yeah, I feel like uh, you were stuck in a career or in, you know, whatever it was that you were doing for a living was not fulfilling you. It's, it, it, didn't, it wasn't like food for your soul. Um, I feel like a lot of you, and this is pretty specific, but I am getting that a lot of you, whatever it is that you're going to be embarking on, it's like you're sharing knowledge about things that were painful to you in the past. So you're, you're able to share that knowledge with others so that they don't experience that same pain, something like that. Some of you could be like counselors or, um, I don't know, I don't know, but it's like, it just feels like something you're very, very, very much passionate about. Let's see the Nine of Cups. Five of Pentacles reverse. 
four of pentacles. the star reverse yeah whatever it is that's coming to you I feel like it's gonna definitely uh, make a difference in your financial situation it's like all of a sudden you're gonna feel oh like oh what a load off like I don't have to worry about my finances anymore I feel safe and secure um, that kind of thing and it was it was like you never imagined it like it, it, in your wildest dreams that's what I'm seeing I never imagined in my wildest dreams that this would happen um, I feel for some of you this could even be a move you could be moving but it's like you had already lost hope or you didn't really you weren't betting on being able to move but somehow something happens and poof there you go so let's see the three of wands reverse the fool you might have to take a risk there may be a risk involved in, in whatever it is it's like an opportunity perhaps that's coming to you but you, you need to take a bit of a risk maybe invest some money into something wow the emperor um it may come like somebody in authority offering you a new opportunity unexpectedly uh, you may have the opportunity to be that someone in authority, so you may be getting like a major promotion or something like that. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Let me see here. I think for some of you it's like through something that seems to be negative. It's like through some some loss, there's an opportunity created for you that you didn't expect. So some kind of surprise coming to Taurus. Okay, let's see. Presently, the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. So this feeling that you're not abundant, that you don't have enough, uh, don't worry. Okay, you're going to, there's something that's going to be revealed. Again, I'm getting like there's some kind of surprise strength reverse yeah they're saying don't worry you're worrying too much uh, you feel you know a little insecure here everything will make sense okay let's see here seven of cups hmm. six of wands you are getting a lot of attention here in the future a lot of people are going to be offering all kinds of things be careful though because not everything not not all that glitters isn't gold but definitely you're getting a lot of attention, a lot of um, opportunities opening up for you. There's going to be a lot of people fighting for your attention as well. Okay, a lot of competition around you. Um, but I'm getting it's more, it's not like competition um, that you have to worry about, you know, competing with. It's more like people competing for you, for your attention, or for or to be able to offer you something. So you you are are um, boom, sorry in high demand. Justice that came out so weird. I'm gonna put it to the side and choose one other one. I didn't like the way that came out. The three of wands your ships are coming in okay I, I'm getting the feeling of like being overwhelmed um, and there may be you know opportunities that you need to take a closer look because there may be um, the possibility of um, you know getting into some bad deal something that's not as uh, lucrative as it could could be you know if you knew what you were doing as far as like paperwork not to say you don't know what you're doing, but what I'm getting though is like you may need, um, if you have to sign a contract, like get get legal help, get somebody to look over the documents, uh, you know, read the fine print, that kind of thing. 
because there could be a, a little bit of confusion there or something with regards to that but but I'm getting a feeling of being overwhelmed because there's just so many options so much coming at you so many people wanting your business your attention your services and um, it's getting hard to uh, make decisions here so you may need to get some counsel okay but this is all good problems to have so wow great reading for us Taurus uh, okay well I'll see you guys soon Bye, love you.